Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve a Jane Street quant interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We have 10 letters and 10 envelopes, each numbered from 1 to 10. The letters will be randomly paired with the envelopes. For example, they can be paired like this, or like this, or like this, and so on. We want the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its corresponding envelope to be at most one. For example, in the current pairing, the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its envelope is zero, making this a valid arrangement. Similarly, this is also a valid arrangement. These pairs have an absolute difference of zero, while these pairs have an absolute difference of one. However, this is not a valid arrangement, as this pair has an absolute difference of two. So find the probability that the letters are assigned to envelopes such that the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its corresponding envelope is at most one. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. We will solve it using recursion. Each letter envelope pairing represents a unique permutation of the 10 letters. Therefore, the total number of possible pairings corresponds to the number of ways to arrange 10 distinct items, which is given by 10 factorial. We want the absolute difference to be less than or equal to 1. Let Fn denote the number of such valid pairings for n letter envelope pairs. Let's consider the choices for the letter numbered 1. First, it can be paired with envelope 1, reducing the problem to n minus 1 letter envelope pairs. Alternatively, if letter 1 is paired with envelope 2, then letter 2 must be paired with envelope 1. This reduces the problem to n minus 2 letter envelope pairs, so fn equals fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. Now let's consider the base cases. If n equals 1, there is only one letter and one envelope, allowing for just one possible pairing, so f1 equals 1. If n equals 2, we can pair them like this or like this. So there are two valid ways, and hence f2 equals 2. Using the given recurrence relation and base conditions, we find that f10 equals 89. Therefore, the total number of valid pairings for 10 envelopes is 89. So, the required probability is 89 divided by 10 factorial. Let's consider another problem. There are five light bulbs, all initially turned off. In each turn, we randomly select one light bulb and flip its state. If it is off, we turn it on. If it is on, we turn it off. For example, in the first turn, we could select this light bulb and switch it on. In the next turn, we could switch this light bulb on. And the process continues in this manner. So, if all bulbs are initially off, what is the expected number of turns until all bulbs are off again? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.